Tempere grasslands were one of the world's greatest biomes in their natural form. However, after centuries, the man altered their composition, and today this habitat has become one of the most endangered of all habitat types. Neotropical temperate grasslands, the Pampas, have been modified by human activity to such a degree that little remains today in a natural state. In the southern range of the Pampas, two mountain systems act as a refuge for grassland species. Despite of being considered as a valuable grassland area, the Tendelia mountain system has a lack of protected areas. These mountains are the refuge of an endemic and charismatic creature, the Tendelian red-bellied toad. Our knowledge about this species is so scarce that even the toad has not yet received a scientific name. The population of Tandilian red-bellied toad could be so low and sparse that we can consider him as one of the most threatened species of amphibians of our country. One of the two known sites occupied by the Tandilian red-bellied toads is a bunch of remnants of highland grass next to Tandil city. During the last decade, we were denouncing threats and conservation problems of the Tandilian red belly toad. In addition to threats of habitat, we believe that other potential threats could be affecting the population of toads. This is the case of some natural predators and kitchomycosis, a global threat to amphibians. Thanks to the support of Rafor Small Grant, we make a team of biologists and professionals to determine a conversation plan for the Tandilian red belly toad. Toads remain high in the grassland for the most part of the year, so it's very difficult to find them. However, in spring and summer, the toads seek temporary ponds to breathe, and that's the time to find them. In the days following heavy rainfall, it's possible to listen to singing males emitting sexual attraction during the day. In the field, we identify and measure all potential sites breeding amphibians of each pasture relic explored. We also take samples to assess the presence of fungi and observe the behavior and abundance of potential predators. How it happens with other species affected by habitat fragmentation, the toads seem to be taking refuge in the larger relic and away from the roads. The result of the first approach, it gave us a total of 116 Tandilian red belly toads in the area explored. We now have a better idea about the distribution and population site of the Tandilian red belly toad. We did a workshop at the local school and during our visit, we shared a video of the life history of the Tandilian red belly toads and we organized a draw competition. Finally, we discussed the main result of our first year of project in a presentation open to the community. We sent to local authority a report of the result of the project with management recommendations. We still have much work ahead. We are awaiting the result of fungan analysis and designing signs to be put in a tourist trade in the grassland. Grasslands are affected by the urbanization progress and forestry. The species who live there are in danger. It is our duty to protect them.